season two, we're back. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> really, really <laughs> back. <laughs> hey, welcome back, man. Welcome back, man. How you lot been, man? I'm alright, you know. I'm, I'm good. Been, I've been good, you know. How you lot been? <laughs> I've been good. How are you lot been, man? <laughs> no, I've been. <laughs> Hey, I've been good, man. I've been good, man. Nice break off season. Didn't get to go away though. Yeah. How did you not spend your summer? Literally just wherever there was a vibe, I'd go to. But literally just indoors, really. I haven't, I haven't really done much. Just working, sorting stuff out with Baller Talk, doing um, sessions, and then literally when there's a vibe, I'll go out. What about you, lot? Same, really. Um, yeah, just working over the summer. It's been a weird summer for me because. Didn't get a holiday, but mm-hmm. I don't think I could have done one this year anyway. I've had a lot to do and, um, yeah, staying fit, you know, maintaining, mm-hmm. having having some good night outs, you know. So, so I, had, I, had, I had good meetings as well, obviously. Um, uh, Thomas Tuchel's, he... <laughs> <laughs> Transfer window's still open, <laughs> so we still need to have that meeting, but, yeah, I've had a couple of meetings and that. Yeah, what about you, man? Same, really, man. I've been... Um... It was going gym, playing five holes and that with the man them when they was here, but everyone's gone back now because the season's getting, season's basically here. So, like you both said, when it's time to enjoy, I was enjoying. I was going out, look like little, little, you know, parties here and then shaking the leg. Shaking but, the leg? Yeah. Is that the only thing shaking? Um, <laughs> the girl them's... I knew you were gonna get yourself in trouble already. We just started. We just started. But that like, we move. That like, but we move. Yeah, man. But, but you say you've been putting in work. I didn't see your no um no. ballers <laughs> camped up. That day. Yeah. Why I didn't you say that day? You didn't come with us. No. Listen. I was. You see. You see. Um, I definitely told you. Yeah. No. You see the um, black wall tunnel. Huh? When it was going thingy. It, huh? Bro, something mad happened, bro. <laughs> something mad. So I couldn't even make it. But I see. I see the session was. Crazy, it was crazy. Was it tough? What? Do you know what it is? The session was tough, yeah? But obviously, David, he tried to like break us in it. Mm. So we couldn't show that that pain. Like, obviously, we knew it was tough, but we got through it, man. So it's, okay. yeah, right. it's easy work, man. Like, you already know. Well, what if he really thought that he could try to break you, man? Well, <laughs> come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't know that we are animals. <laughs> <laughs> animals. Oh, trust me. So what's everyone's situation this year? Um, I see that you've finally negotiated a um, new deal with Bromley. Glad to get it over the line. Yeah, it was a tough decision. Obviously, I had Chelsea, Bromley. <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> so I chose where I wanted. It yeah. was two shares. I didn't pick up my call in it. But nah, listen, it was, it was, it was um, like you said, for a lot of people, a lot of footballers, it was a weird summer for, for a lot of us. But it was, it was good to get the deal over the line. Um, I like to think I started something great there and I've just got um, finished business to, to do. Obviously, we, we got into the playoffs. <clears throat> we got knocked out in the first round, but um, we lost 3-1. Um, shock, I scored. Um, <laughs> but no, I've got un- unfinished business. I want to go that one step further. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Good stuff. And yourself, obviously, I know yeah. you're somewhere now. but um, Yeah, you know, no, I'm like. training at the moment. They've offered me something. But um, obviously, when that's done on the next show, uh, I'll announce it. But oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm back in the fold. I'm back in the mix. And like you said yourself, when we've been talking off here, get games and then go again, man. I'm back. How does it feel? You've been missing it though. Is it feel good to be back? I'm not gonna lie. When you lot was going football and snapping and doing your thing, I was missing it. Like I said, mm. the first six months was like, yeah, I can go on holiday, dude. But after that six months, yeah, it touched man still. Mm. I mean, like, How about you, fam? No, I'm, I'm back at um, Boreham Wood. Got another year. So, um, yeah, just trying to trying to make it better than last. You know, um, last year was it was uh, we kind of underachieved, but um, personally, it was it was a good season for me mm-hmm. um, on an individual performance basis. But on an indi- individual performance basis, but um, yeah, we got to go again and go one better. You know, so so we move on that one. Um, I was on, was on Instagram earlier, yeah. Mm. I saw a picture of you and Stormzy, Dave, Tiny Temper. What, do you know him? 
<laughs> yeah, what's going on there? What's really going on there? I saw a picture of you lot, like. Yeah. What, like? The caption even, like, you say the caption again. <laughs> yeah, like, what was the, the caption? caption? What was the caption? Heavy room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah. okay. what, what, what was heavy? Pockets? <laughs> Conversation, nah. Honestly, all jokes aside, mm. conversation. It was, it was a crazy room, and that that literally happened organically. Um, happened organically, but um, it was a beautiful conversation that we had. Obviously, it was in um, you know, already it was in Stoke, and my my friend, my friend came to meet me there, and he happened to be with other people. You know, my friend Toby came to meet me, and he was obviously with Storms. I know Storms. And then Dave, I met Dave on the night, and then everyone else that filtered through. Um, I know Tanya already, but everyone else that filtered through, yeah. And then we just ended up um, going into the private room, having a great conversation. Uh, the conversation, I feel like it could actually shift the culture in a positive way. And what I mean by the culture, I mean us. Um, it could, it could. It, the conversation was such a beautiful conversation. A lot of confusion. A lot of us trying to figure out life, a lot of vulnerability, a lot of us knowing that, oh, we've come so far, but yet we still don't have a clue. Just transparent, you know what I mean? Um, and, and just trying to figure out how to navigate through life. So it was, it was a very, very good conversation. And, and yeah, it was just good being in, in the room and being part of those conversations, you know? I see, I see you in some pictures as well, some pictures. You, you pull up 360 TV and that. I was in it too, don't get twisted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 360 put up, I think. Yeah, put up yeah. the story. Um, yeah. That was just literally, um, I think a lot of you lot saw, it was just literally, we had, a, we had a shoot day, 24 hours with Alex and whatnot. And um, we just wanted to close it at, at Stork, as we said earlier. Um, and it was just a vibe, like literally just had a long day. You know, you guys were with me throughout the day. Just wanted to wind down and enjoying Stoke. So yeah, that was a sick night. No, that's proper, that's proper. And behind the ballers, man, um, we all gave an insight into our lives. Do you feel like it was important that we we, we did that? No, 100%. I think it was it was big for, for us to, to come out with that because I think a lot of viewers don't know. People think, like, I, I speak to people about that, the episodes that we've done and they think, like, we've got a script and we just run by it. That day was literally just the cameras in front of you and you just make the vibe. So it was like, it was sick for, for me and I'm sure for you lot to watch back because it wasn't scripted, it wasn't planned, it was just something that, that's our lives. It wasn't something that we put down. So no, it was good to, to give an insight to a lot of people and I feel like that's just a taste of it. A lot more was gonna happen because I feel like people still wanna see more of what we, we, we get up to. What about you guys, what do you feel about it? No, I felt the same. No, I felt the same. I just thought, like, um, taking them back to the area I grew up in and my school and showing them... Yeah, blood, you're a <laughs> joker, blood. <laughs> the chicken, the tabo. The chicken, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, We got Oki. Oki was there just to... Uh, we got Listen, Oki. Look, you see that scene for me? <laughs> Funniest. The funniest thing Bro, ever. I was crying, bro. Yeah, no, just... Uh, he's funny. <laughs> is he, so he's a big legend in no, like, he's a, London. Everyone, ask anyone, everyone knows Oki. Like, he's, yeah. like, obviously, his family got the franchise, you know, bounce away. And yeah, just took them back to where I grew up and showing them where we used to hang out and where we started playing football. And like you said, our day-to-day -day life, like when we're not at football, like, you know, the, showing them the factory, the studio and mm. everything that... We get up to you like it was cool. Like you said, I still think people there's a there's still a lot people need to know about us, but that will come in episodes. Yeah. What about you, from how did you feel about? It? I thought I thought it was I thought it was important. Um, I thought I thought it sent a great message. Um, a lot of people feel like think that footballers are some robots, some robotic that we don't live life, and I feel like we showed them that. We've got we've got lives and 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 life is all right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Life is life is good. So it was important that we let people know that, yeah, this is what we get up to on a day to day basis. You can do it too. You, it's not just train, go home, sleep. Mm -hmm. um, you can do you can do other things. And I think it was sick that you um, even brought them to your football club during contract negotiations. Yeah. yeah. So, so that was proper. Only thing is that. 
Uh, sorry, I keep on... Uh, listen, I've got PTSD. Thomas, pick up your phone. <laughs> My agent's trying to call you, yeah? <laughs> but but yeah. no, that was, that, was, that was big. It was, it was good to, to bring them around the club and credit to the club. Everyone was, was cool about it to, yeah. to come around. Yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of insight, a lot of insight, and even you taking um, them back to where you grew up, your school, and all of that. No, it was it was proper, man. Like I feel like, and you've been you've been on the scene for for quite some time, and um, people have always wanted to know who 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 made the ears, who mm. done the ears, and I feel like it was important that that you shared that moment with 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 the people. You know what I mean? That that look look to you. And, and that follow your journey, you know what I mean, so. I was even going to say, mm. even with you though, when um, James always says people don't get to see the other side of Femi, and I think that people actually got to see the other side of you. Yeah, he knows. yeah, yeah, like, like I, I don't know how to not be... Serious. <laughs> <laughs> I can have a laugh, bro, what are you talking about? I know, but that's what I'm trying to yeah. say, like, people yeah. saw on that episode yeah. that he can have a laugh. Yeah. I think a lot of people have perceptions of us, um, and especially Femi, they'll look at Femi and say, listen, he's serious, he's whatever. But cool. in that episode and episodes to come, you start seeing a lot of the other side as well. And that's what the Behind the Ballers um, theme was, just to show the other side of yeah. the, the player. Yeah, and also also um, the training with the ballers, ballers camp as well. I felt like that was important so that, um, say, say people don't really know how to train. You can't, I can't afford a personal trainer, I can't afford that, it's good, or, do you know what I mean, or they just don't have the method of how to work, oh, okay. you know what I mean, I feel like it was good that we shared a lot of insight into that, and that's how, and, and, and across all levels, the football side, the gym side, and the, the other circuit training, the, um, the, the, the death sentence that my man tried to throw at us, but, you know the ones, we, we went for it. so, so yeah, I feel, I feel like that was good, man, that was good, you know. Soon as, as um, we touched up on a lot of things that we've done, so talk to me, rurals. What do you think about it? Listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I supported um, England first because we've got we've got close friends mm. that was in there. Sorry, we got, we're gonna get back to this Euros thing. Oh no, we didn't touch something. Oh up. no, we didn't touch off on oh, something. Oh no, 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 we don't. So, this. James. Hmm. Bromley wasn't the only thing, mm. or the only club that mm. you was in negotiations with during the summer, was it? I got a tax! <laughs> <laughs> Who else was you in negotiations with oh, all summer? And this one was peak. This one was peak. You gonna say it or what? Okay. This one is weird. Um, a lot of you lot are gonna say to me, why did you do it? You should have gone, you should have gone. So basically, um, I'd say, was it June? Was it June? Yeah. June. Um, I literally got a text. <laughs> um, I got a message from ITV um, Studios and they hit me up saying, um, listen, there's an opportunity um, for you that we want to talk to you about. Are you single? Um, are you willing to have a chat? Cool. Like I said in previous episodes, I'm single. Um, so I said, yeah, cool, let's have a chat. I replied to them, got my number. And it took about a week. And I'm telling my boys, my family, listen, ITV want me to talk to them. I don't know what it's about, don't know what show it's about, cool. So I didn't pick up the, no, I didn't get a call for a week. So I thought, okay, maybe they forgot about it. Cool. Finished training one day. We're in the playoffs at this point. Finished training one day. I get a call. Um, someone from ITV. Um, I'm not going to disclose her name. <clears throat> she goes, Hey, James. Um, you're good looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she said, You're good looking. Um, are you single? I've gone, yeah. She goes, How would you feel about going on Love Island? So I've gone at that point, like obviously you, you guys know me and the viewers know me, you'd say, yeah, 100% cool. So at that moment in time, but remember, I'm a footballer first. I'm like, no, 
Femi saying no, Manny saying no, people around me saying no, my sisters, my family, they're saying yes, 100% do it, do it, do it, do it. And um, it got to a point where, but she didn't say you're 100% going to go on. Mm. We just want to see your personality. We want to get to know you and see if you fit the bill. Um, at that point, I was open to having conversations with them. I had conversations with them. They then said, um, yeah, look, it took, a, I'll say it took about a month. Um, they said, yeah, look, we want you to come on. At this time, I'd already signed at um, Bromley. Um, but I don't, I don't want to say that the reason I didn't go on was because I had football. The reason I didn't go on was my purpose didn't really align with what Love Island are do, is, is doing right now. And I felt like with the negotiations and what's in the contracts for, for you to go on ITV, which I can't disclose, it just didn't align. But yeah, literally, so I had Chelsea, Bromley, <laughs> ITV, <laughs> Ola Turk, I had all of it. But now it was literally a whirlwind of like decisions. Imagine. It's mad still. Crazy. Yeah, it was, it was, it was mad. Uh, back to your point, my guy. What was you saying? <laughs> <laughs> the Euros, the Euros, the Euros took <clears throat> us. We yeah, like I said, I said, I said, I said, listen, I was supporting England because I've got friends, close friends that play for, for, for England. But um You got close friends that play for England, yeah? <laughs> Shout out to man them. Um I supported France, I was disappointed in France, because I thought they were gonna take it all the way. Mm. But they slipped up. But um it was it was big for England obviously to get to the final. Um but yeah, I think it was it was exciting and a good tournament. What do you what do you guys think? I thought it was a very good tournament, man. Um, like I said, I was supporting France myself. And um, after France was England. But um, yeah, France let me down. A couple players let me down still, though, like in the Euros. But get me, they turn up for like big occasions all the time. So people can have bad tournaments. That's what it is. But yeah, I was just disappointed in France, really. I, I think it was, it was, it was massive for, for, for the country that we live in. England, you know, any time the game was going on, every bar, every um, restaurant that was showing the game, it was just going off every yeah. pub. I think that was good. I think it, it really showed, like, unity when it comes to football. Because, obviously, you know, like, England's big with football, but I, I saw girls, mums, dads going crazy, it's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming home. But I think that, that side of things was a, was a massive vibe as well. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was proper, man. Um, I was I, I was driving through Central whilst one of the games were on, and it just looked crazy. I've never seen so many people outside. It was absolutely crazy. I was thinking, do you know what? I can't even. Mm. I can't even go home now because I'll just get caught up in so much traffic. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I thought it was a. I thought it was a great tournament. Um, I wanted England to win because of the mandem. Um, you know what I mean, and I, f I felt I felt they represented well. I felt they represented well. I already said it in a, in in an interview I done. Make sure BBC, hey BBC, don't try and take my boy. You know, <laughs> he's here with Bulletal. You BBC people that's trying to video him. Listen, I'm gonna message yeah. you anyway. Yeah, but no, I already said it in that in the interview that I feel like that's me on the pitch. So, and on top of that, you know, relationships. Um, we we know one or two of the guys, so um, it's closer closer to home. So, on the on the day of the finals, it, it hurt, it hurt, it hurt, pain. it hurt, it, it hurt that they missed the pen, but it hurt more that oh, so close, so close, it was yeah, 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 so well. far, you know what I mean? But there's so much more good than bad that came out of that tournament for me. Um, to show that, okay, you can do it in a prem, but okay, the mandem can actually do it on world Biggest stage. Stages, uh, world stages, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, I feel like a lot of players have come out that that tournament um, bigger than they went in. Um, there was a lot of speculation about Harry Maguire. Is Harry Maguire all that though? Yeah, you ain't got nothing to say now. Harry Maguire is bad man, you get me? Mm. My United fan, by the way, yeah, but... Man United not fan. even being biased. Not even being biased, but Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw, bad man. Trust me, you United. Get me. You get me? B, Bukayo, bad man. Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, 
couple bad man's come out of that tournament. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Carl Walcott, bad man. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, man. I think so much, so much more, more good than bad come out of that. And let's not let that racism distract us from... Yeah, of course. From, um, let's not even pen it. Let's not even entertain it on this episode because there's so much, there's so much more good that's happened from that tournament. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, do you know what else I feel with the Euros? You got to really chop life, you know? You see, you see, you see, you see that finals, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> James knows what I'm going to say. I get it. Yeah, I know. Where did you watch the final? To man them, you know? Yeah, you got to go harder in life still. Where, 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 where did you watch the finals? In my house. Oh. <laughs> I mean, tell them, tell, talk to them about the theory that you have. So, my, my theory on life, yeah, if you didn't go Wembley that day, and I'm not saying run up in Wembley, if you didn't have a ticket to go to that fan that day, you got to go harder in life, man. Because, yeah, because, yeah, because, yeah, deep it, who would not want to go and see that fan in Wembley? If every single person had a choice to go, you will go to that fan. You get me? If you didn't go, it means you got to go harder in life. I had my people at the finals. But I have to watch it at the next best place. Did you get me? Mm -hmm. So I was, just like thinking, that, I was just thinking, yo, you get me? But it's cool though. Next next time, innit? No, the Euros, the Euros is big. Yeah. So let's talk about season two. Like, mm. What do we have in store for season two, the viewers? <laughs> for me, boy, pushing the envelope, man. Like, pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not, listen, this is no cap, yeah? Yeah. Fem, when, when you come out with these things, I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. pushing the envelope? What's pushing the envelope? What do you mean? I don't know what I mean, bro, but I know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, big man thing. No, 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 no. What I mean by that is just keep, bro, breaking down barriers, like, yes, all right. Why do you okay, say that? Yeah, right, oh, right. come on, man. Just pushing the envelope. <laughs> Oh, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, uh, cool, cool, cool. Listen, man, like, yeah, breaking down barriers, but um, being more authentic, being as real as possible, and also being ourselves doing it, knowing that you can do what you want to do by being yourself. And I think Baller Talk and what, we, what we've got planned for you guys in season two is going to represent that we didn't, Decide. We, don't, we don't wear a mask, you know what I mean? We don't, we don't fake it. What you see is what we get and what we've got planned for season two, we've, everything we've achieved or you, the things you'll see in season two, we've done it our way by being ourselves. And that's the message that we're, try, we're trying to push in it. You know what I'm saying? So more of that in season two. What about you guys? For me, I just want to carry on inspiring. Like I, I speak to Femme, Mehdi, Larry, Manny, the team, all the time, and I tell them, like, the messages, the feedback I get from a lot of the, the viewers and the people that watch us, it just makes me smile. And for me, I just want to continue doing that and doing that on a larger scale because I feel like I've achieved what I, want, achieved what I wanted to achieve when I see the messages. So for me, I just want to carry on inspiring, making people happy, making people come out and be themselves and just enjoying... The, the show. Yeah, if I'm being honest, the messages that we get are really humbling. And it's also it's also spreading onto when we play games now, isn't it? Ah, oh, bro. Um, and it always humbles, it always humbles me in a different way. I, I, did, I didn't think the reach um, will be like that. So we will always try our best to keep inspiring um, and keep, keep pushing that message. What about you, Meds? You know my thing, man. Deep talks, mm. get me. Everything we talk about is not just what players have been through and what players are going through. At the same time, we're dropping knowledge and we're dropping game to the mm. younger generation and even the older generation mm. that's gone through things. But like I said, it's just more vibes, uh, more talks and everything, man, just to get, inspire people. That's it, man. And, and on... on um what we've got planned for season two. What have you got planned for the season? 
Like, what's your, what's your goals and aspirations this season? See me when back in the days, I used to I used to have goals and that. Right now, it's just play games. You get your goal, you get your goal. Sometimes when when you focus too much on goals and that, you beat yourself up. Sometimes when, for example, like your striker, if you say ten goals before Christmas or thirteen goals before Christmas, and November comes, you're only on four or five. It's like you can think. Oh. So I just I just flow with it from now on. As I'm older now, I just flow with it. Get the goals, get the goals, get the assists, get the assists. I just flow with it. I've got I've got a sick way of um, of um, doing your goals, setting your goals for the season. I'm gonna show you it. I'm gonna show you it um, because it breaks it down. You like, know what I mean? Like a massage breaks. It. <laughs> oh my goodness! But I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you it. Break but, it down um, for me. Yeah. <laughs> my goals. <laughs> Um, I did achieve. I did achieve. Bear, bear my goals last season. <laughs> I can't lie to you, fam. I had a good season, but bro, all of those goals were meh. You get yeah, me? Yeah, word. But um, but um, yeah. So my goals this year: um, x amount of clean sheets, x amount of goals. You know what I mean? Um, promo. Um, yeah, but but the way I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you how to break, how you break it down. But yeah, ever present. I've always got a task of ever present. I even, I even fell on that when I got injured the last, the third to last game of the season. So yeah, so this year it's just trying, trying, trying to achieve them and tick them all off my list. You know, and how I do it. What about you? Me, my my thing is, we move, man. We move. It's every single time, like. No matter what it is, training, games, just carry on moving. Like I'm never gonna stop, stand still, dwell on things. It's just moving from start to finish. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. And also, man, yeah, man. Um, the, the, the baller talks doing the right in there. What, what are we on now? What? <laughs> <laughs> 10k subs. Whoa, like that. Yeah. Come on, moving and cruising. Yeah, moving and cruising. Yeah, I like that one. Moving, moving and, cruising. and cruising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah moving I like that one. Hey, tell YouTube to holler at me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know when JJ says that lyric? Y'all start to holler at me, man. <laughs> no, 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 it's joking. It's, it's great to, to reach this um, achievement. What do you call, what do you call it? My, milestone? Yeah. Tombstone. Milestone. <laughs> Tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. To, it's great to reach this master and just listen. You just want to carry on moving, like I said. Football, ball talk, everything. Just carry on moving on to the next step, next step, and carry on growing, man. And what are we saying for the um, drip this season? Feckley <laughs> drip. I'm not gonna lie. So last season, there was a poll that went out on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Larry, am I right? Yeah. And the poll on YouTube. Larry, what was it again? Who's the best trip out of me, Mehdi, and Fem? So I think you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> number one, number uno. I took that one. Oh, uh, you're waiting to say this. Yeah, you know I didn't yeah, know yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah, you didn't know this. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I was waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah, waiting. Yeah, yeah. So, so both of us didn't know about this thing. That I didn't know about no, this it's part. Facts. Listen, I'm talking stats. No, but it's facts. But I didn't know that even that. It was out there. Uh, cool. Cool. viewers to see, bro. Uh, cool. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, cool. listen, I told you already, like, that's season one. We parked that one. Mm. Season two, we're still moving. Mm. So, I'm, I can't lie to you. I'm coming for number one. <laughs> I want it again. Uh, cool. I've tasted number one. And I want it to get lonely up there. Just to be like myself. <laughs> so, <clears throat> season two, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't care. I know my thing in it. I'm confident in my thing. So, yeah, all right. No, it's going to be big. Listen, mm -hmm. and for guests that's coming on, make sure you're ready. Yeah, they got to make sure they're correct. Huh. They, yeah. they got to make sure they come correct. Yeah, that's, we'll that's, that's what I will say about that, the guest and that. You get me? No, pattern. So, yeah, look out, man. Look out, man. This is just the opener for season one. So, just look out for. Um, huh? 
open of season one. Yay! Oh, oh. Whoa, what? Sorry, sorry. Big mistake. This is just mistake. the open up for season. Mistake. This mistake. is just the open up for season two. Mm. So yeah, just look out for what we got in store for you, man. You know what I mean? And love once again <laughs> for 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 supporting us. You know what I mean? For following us or whatever, following our journey. We proper appreciate it, and we couldn't have done it without you guys. So just continue to follow the journey. I promise you, we will not disappoint you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>